Thanks. We have Penny with four gone powers, two perils, two offering tokens, and an Ember Forge. Oh, coffee, sure. Yeah. Uh, Days Talos, boo. Rage Fell, also boo. And Sap Seraph. Yeah, this is a gross lineup. This terrible. Make all the cards you have cost the same, if not more, than what they already cost. Or take something that's really strong and powerful. I haven't had an architect run for so long. I feel with Days Talos, we want to get units out in front. Plus four with damage shield. An architect's good at getting backlines killed because you just put a stew back there. Well, that's the plan, at least. Tell us you've been trying to win a Heat 32 run with Talus Gloves on Hades. So far, you've only succeeded in making your own hands hurt. Very immersive. Nice. Oh, that's terrible. They were most certainly not the morsels we're looking for. That one is okay, <clears throat> but again, not the morsel we're looking for. This is fine. If I'd put that morsel at the very back, no, because Frost went. Oh, look! Why am before it's bad? Back in time fight on turn one. I don't know if that's how time travel works. <clears throat> Look how bad this is, though. Huge difference. Get him, Stu. Let's 
Stubborn Humber Assault. We have a lot of we have two offering tokens already. We have Doge. We have good boy Doge. Do, yeah, Stuart, <coughs> Stewie, the, the Stuart, Stuart, the Stuart, Stuart, the Stuart. It's been like a year. It's been almost a year. You're not wrong. It has almost been a year. have a degree <laughs> oh it's a George well that's interesting So one of the biggest problems here is that you want to feed Crucible Collector, but you need to feed George. Otherwise he's not good, right? George is a bit of a uh, glutton. One more stupid achievement in Final Fantasy IX for 100%. What's the achievement, Bonfire? One day I need to go for my Steel Souls in Hollow Knight, and I'm putting it off. Um, because it, it's going to take a lot of preparation and a lot of consistent practice. Hey, hey Zergos, Zergos loves achievements. You really should talk achievements with Zergos. Kill 10,000 enemies? Oh, that's just a grinder. That's not even an achievement. That's a, a, an aggrindment. You don't even have to do anything for that one. So this questionable George. Yeah, I have to enjoy, uh, enjoy the game or only have a couple of achievements I didn't get. If both, even better. skip on George here. Um, yeah, I think we'll look at this. I don't think you've ever 100% of the game. There are some games you just 100% just for playing to the end. Wait, did Hades have achievements? Yeah, yeah probably did, right? Of course it would have. Of course it would have happened. Ah, uh, you, you got all the achievements just from playing, yeah. That's fun when that happens.
Oh, is there a better one? I don't know if there is a... Oh, uh, yeah, lifesteal is probably better. Oh, I can't kill him because... Oops. That's not gonna work. Nice. I have on fire, thanks dude. Uh, packed morsels make you more... Oh, let's take the packed morsels. I'm not feeling this. <clears throat> Can we get a siren in here? Can we squeeze in a siren? Do want rage siren? I don't think we can afford to take Rage Siren and hope. Okay. We'll not take it and hope. I think we have to take it. That is a tough call. Uh, greedy Trinket. Uh, it doesn't matter too much. It stops it stops dog from getting one shot. That's about it. I don't want double sirens. Which means I don't have to get heaps of health now. I don't know what I'd put on dog though. Days tell us where are we putting this? We should put that on you. Yeah, I definitely should put her down. I think matters. I mean, I'm going to misplay Chain of Gems every single turn of every single fight, and I'm pretty sure that's a guarantee. It's, it really is an overlooked strategy.
wrecked, idiots. I <laughs> can get you to A20 with Ironclad and FTS and work here. Stupid dead man. Needed to be have two health or more. Oh no, it doesn't because they're not attacking. doesn't actually do anything, so I probably should have just done it there. Chain of Gem in this place. Man, the more iconic here. Oh, I'm doing it right, chat. I did it right. It only took me three circles, almost like all but one turn of three circles. The talus was dazed, so it didn't matter where I put it. Had no no cons no bearing on the thing. Wow, look at these options. Shroud spike or forever consumed. <clears throat> we just go spike, yeah. I'd be sad we didn't take George. And don't take Steve. Oh, okay. Um, what else do we want then? I don't think I have a hits on top. I wonder if we go like plus two on collector just to. No, because then the first few don't matter. What do we do for collector then? Doesn't matter what we get in? Just take the. It's worth one turn against Seraph and we just take it, I guess. Whatever. We get rid of those because they're awful. Floor enemies. It's like a solid no. However, these guys. Who are these? 
Not bad. That might be bad. <clears throat> if you get three rage, which is worth six, plus it's an incant, and we go one, two, three, you'll get three. Which put you on eleven. Take seventeen and won't kill one. But then we get a morsel. So it's a maybe. I think we're okay to do it here though, and then we don't have to rage. That matters should have gone the other way around then. The dog will be there. Maybe it matters. I don't think it matters. Ah, oh, top floor days. Get wrecked, idiot. Get double wrecked, idiots. Close. That's dead. Should be good. Y'all dead? Y'all dead. Mitosis, not really. Grovel, no. Okay, she's okay. Could do this again. Give another one of those. Let's 
So the only thing we could really find would be another multi for Siren, which would be nice. I don't really care for stuff over here. Let's just do it. Sketches. Ah, uh, prob not, hey? We've got some consume cards. Alright, let's do that. Quick, no, damage shield, no, plus thing, no, 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 multi, yes. waiting for these guys, so let's... Oh, look at that. We don't have room for, um... to feed it. That could be a, a prop pants. And pants. There might be an issue. Yeah, minor, minor details. Maybe. Sweeper? No, okay. Can't go on a small end place. Because maybe we're good? Nice. Good pickles is definitely better than not good pickles. Can confirm. These ones will be tough. Yeah, 
a little bit of ember. Oh, thank you. Oh. Never worry. Okay, just don't go on the small floor again, Pans. <laughs> on the plus side, um, once we get the next level architect, we don't have to worry about the small floor. It's only for this fight. Uh, we've got everything we want here. We're almost full. Caverns could be okay. Let's go this way though. Get rid of that. Get rid of a couple of these idiot cards. Oh, dude, that's the best permafrost. <clears throat> How big a spike can we put on a dog? Do we have anything we want to do, really? I'm consumed, maybe. Need a dupe on that. Rage fell. Oh man, everyone hates you so much. Okay, so we want to hit. Our siren with the chains. That's the thing. Hit siren with chains. There we go. Which means we can play it first. And put Penny down. And then we can Amber and play that. And throw that out there. We just bang this down now. Seems like a good turn. Oh, we don't need that on top floor because they're dazed. Huh. Where's it all over that? To pull into. <clears throat> this is going to be great when we get the, that extra energy. Uh, extra capacity, sorry. Might even just take capacity as well. It's for the giggles.
How dead dead is she? Oh, very dead dead or else. I should have just been doing this. Go there. You go there. You go there. You go there. You guys stay in there. Sap fell. Not that it matters. That was one to do. Yeah, it makes no difference. Is this E to E? I think we're E to E. I just roll seraphine right now I owe it. If a T question. Got six different English T's. On one it says brew for three to five minutes. On others it says infuse for three to five minutes. What is the difference? Two minutes. Oh man. That was quick gunfire on that one. That's, look, that's, what, what's wrong? Like, that's, I answered the question. Oh, it's minus two minutes. No, the difference between two things is a, uh, a magnitude. I would be very surprised if there was even a subtle difference in those. Um, infuse. It's got to be the same thing, right? I think infuse is better. All right, hear me out. You can brew something and end up with a with a something not infused because the brew didn't work. Infuse is suggesting do it properly. The brew is like just brew it and hope for the best, and maybe your your tea would have been infused into the water. Um, I think the infused one they're saying you do it right, do it, do it right. Don't argue. That's what they're saying. The misunderstanding is most tea that is cheap and in bags that is the reject tea. That's why it's only single use. Um, infused is add water first, maybe? I don't know, man. Um, most teas really 
single use. Unless you want like a weak tea. My nan used to do this thing right, where she would um, she would reuse the tea bags in the teapot. She'd be like, oh, it's because I'm using a pot, it's okay. I've just got to put another tea bag in um, every time to, um, you know, to help it along. You know, she never knew which... Uh, uh, but the problem was she started, her first pot of the day was one tea bag. And then the second pot is one tea bag and the, like one extra. And one, so she's always adding one new one. I thought, if anything, your tea it might be getting a tiny bit stronger each each time you go through. Um, the, the one thing I know is that, you know, on days that I was home and we were having lots of tea, by, by mid-afternoon, they, they tasted really bad. <laughs> your loose leaf tea is pretty good for multiple times. So I, I often wondered with that, if you've got loose leaf... Like, I can understand on a tea bag if maybe you're only using a little bit of water and you're not um, using up all of the, the tea, right? You put another one in. With loose leaf, shouldn't you just put less in? Right, instead of putting in twice as much as what you need and making one cup, letting half of it sit there stodgy and then making another cup later, why don't you just put half the amount in and have fresh tea and have it fresh each time? I always use a new tea bag in a mug, yeah. Except I leave mine in, so as I, otherwise I'll forget about it, and it'll be, and it'll never get drunk. It'll be cold. At least if I forget about it with the tea bag in at my desk, I'll drink it. No, but that's why I said, like, it, just use less per, per one. So if you use one teaspoon for two cups, why not use half a teaspoon each time? Uh, you know, or if you use one teaspoon for four cups because you're, you know, really tight on the, the flavorings, just use a quarter each time. Fermentation process can be brew but aren't infuse. Interesting. I'm wondering if any of this matters. Yeah, because if you cut the amount of tea, you'd probably find that your first cup of the day wouldn't be as strong, but your last cup would be stronger. Well, they'd all be equal if you if you put an equal amount in every time. The last one probably barely has any um, any tannin in it at all. And that's when people say, oh, but I top it up a bit. It's like, well, there's a science here. How do I make water for English or breakfast tea? Whatever my kettle says stops boiling. That's the temperature I pour it into the mug. Zogo says just buy pre-made sweet tea. Yep. Nice cold drink. And then put it in the microwave. And then you got a hot cup of tea. Is that what you do, Zogos? Tell me that's what you do. Oh, you drink coffee. Fair enough. There's an old, um, an old clip at the... I'm going to get this wrong, and I know this answer. It's at Sacriel's, um, Tea of Choice Factory where they have the tea tester in there. So it's all black and white thing where that shows you like the day and the, the working day in the life of a tea tester and they explain how to properly um, brew a pot of tea. I 
I think it's a yellow box. Yorkshire tea? Pretty sure that's it. I kind of want to dupe the spike. I don't think I need it. So I don't need that. Gold good. Let's go this way. Yeah, but it's a plastic um, fork zergo, so it's okay. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. This is dumb, by the way. But, you know, why not? We've already got two multis on a siren, go for three. You're trying to replace some of your drinks with tea, and you've got tons of tea, so you're trying to find what's the best way to do it. Okay, heat water, add tea, drink. That's, that's pretty much it, you know? Thanks, Pumpfire. See you later, dude. Huh. Did you look at that? Seems okay.
Oh, I could have played a more. Oh, I still can play a more. So look at that. And then we can buff the morsel. And then I can play the thing. Oh, it still hits the thing. It's not good. That's right. You bought yours because it lights up blue. Is it one of those ones that stays hot? I used to work somewhere and they had this glass one. Um, and it would stay hot all day. Not boil, like boiling level, but hot-ish. Um, like fairly hot. Um, great for if you're doing dishes, you could just pour it straight into the sink and it was really nice. Just warm enough to make your hands feel a little bit uncomfortable. Um, and the idea was that way if you wanted a cup of tea or coffee, you didn't have to wait for it to boil as long. And it had a blue ring around the base, so it made the glass light up blue. And um, it would light up. It had a different color rings. I don't think it, I can't remember if it had red and green or if it just had had red. I think it only had red if it was too cold, like if it wasn't ready. So you wouldn't get up and push the button. Like if someone had just refilled it. Was that a green? I can't remember. Maybe it was the same one. But anyway, but the idea was that way if you used it and you topped it up. Right? But the water wasn't at the the holding temperature. It, it wouldn't would be lit up blue. So if you're looking over like, oh, I like a cup of tea, and you saw that it wasn't blue, you'd be like, oh, I'll wait for it to get to the holding temperature. Then I'll walk over and turn it on. <laughs> it was so dumb. But, you know, little things, right? Yours is blue while it's heating. Yeah, the, the one we had was blue um, when it was at a you know, holding temperature. It was very silly. If you put a warm, you have a teapot where you can add a tea candle below. Fancy. Hey, look, this one's not dying. Oh, is that because I put pumped too much stuff into that guy? I think it is. Oh, pans. Right, how do we kill that guy then? Or at least just pump both of them? We're going to take five pyre damage though. Oh, wow. Well, that's not cool. What is he on? He's on 30 armor, so 170. So I need to get that up over 170. Can I do that? 63. Oh, we're close. Yeah, I'll get there. Without using perils. Don't want to use perils, of course. Oh, perils on thingy. There we go. Look at that. Easy. Yeah, we always had a tea cozy. Oh, I should have hit that. Got the same issue happening with this guy. What's going on? We get to one eighty now. It's like. Wait, we're there, right? Oh, 185. Okay, easy, easy, easy. Never didn't have it. Calm down, chat. Wait. One more. Alright, we got there. Phew.
Look at this big old meanie. Big old meanie. I think that's Seraph spanking numbers. Looking okay. I think I could have. Um, we could have done the trial on that one. I wonder if we can get an early kill. Oh, that's gross! I love it. Look at that. If we can get one of those early spikes down on Siren. Fantastic. Thanks, baby T. I try. I try. Yeah. I might not get much vitamin D, but it, you know, I eat well and I, I don't sleep very well. You know. Hey, Mattis. Hey, Dill, man. I've played it, Mattis. I didn't like it. Alright, we have to put Penny on the thing, which is okay. This guy makes it through, which kind of sucks, but... You know. So we can get a spike down on her and hold on to dude, I think. I don't know. I mean, dog can wait. doesn't work for us. We give that to her anyway, we need to... <clears throat> Morning Chroma? This is where we need to spike something good on the thing here. It's a start.
and Dr. Drax. <laughs> Nine and a half hours playing Jackpot games like Good times, man. Glad you enjoyed that. I think that's enough to hit out what we want to there. Get that to 95 and we're good. Nice. Do I still do any Jackbox streams? No, I don't. Um, they are extremely fun for people that like them. Uh, and not at all for anyone else, unfortunately. Occasionally there's there's like a, the odd person in between. But as we found out last time when, you know, it was when I was sort of, that was probably when I was playing Spire and whatnot. <clears throat> we'd have, you know, 150, 200 people show up on average throughout the week and 10 people show up on the Jackbox night. Uh, unfortunately, like I enjoyed it, but it was, um, I would have had more people show up if I was sleeping and play Jackbox with my friends for fun on the, you know, outside of stream would have been more beneficial. And there was the trolls and they brought out the worst in people. I think that's the other thing. If you don't, I don't have a, a, a enough practice or patience to moderate it. Um, and there's people that were joining games that were making me have even less faith in humanity than I already do. Oh, I had a thing I could have gotten. What's the chance we can draw a good morsel? I should have done something else. This was an extra morsel I could have had. Oh, wow. Hey, baby tech. Yes, that's exactly what I said. Sleep streaming coming. I'll probably just spike that, be done with it now, right? Instead of trying to spike that. <laughs> yeah, don't be greedy, pants. Greed is good. What do Pan's Juniors get for Christmas? Um, we got another Switch this year, so now they each have one instead of sort of sharing one. Uh, we got a computer chair and everyone sort of chipped in. The greater extended family chipped in and my daughter got an iPad. She got a one that like for drawing, she does digital art stuff things uh what else did they get they got a lot of food a lot of, a lot of chocolates and stuff this is this is expected you think i'll switch off no <laughs> um uh they got a couple games as well we got um breath of the wild and uh that the Phoenix Rising one. Um, bunch of books. Very little clothing this year. 
They did well on the non-clothing side of things. Look at this little jerk. Sneaking through. I don't think there's anything we can do about that. I don't think it matters, though, if we're being really honest. Although, if I'd gotten more damage into that, that would have been good. so mean. Oh wait, no, I can just kill it. Pans is so mean. the card that triggers feeding 30 times the umbra spike x uh, it's an x cost yeah leprechaun we got a new dog today her name's coco she is literally the cutest thing on the planet you gonna guess the game gave me amulet um i think i took both of them i don't think i started with it did we start with the amulet I had two offering tokens. Not named Red Hot. Yeah, but she's third. So we got Pepper and then Chili. We'd have Pepper Chili Red Hot. It's not, it's all wrong. But by the way, we didn't name any of our dogs. All right? None of them. They have the names they came with. We kept them with those. And I know you can possibly change their name and call them something else, but it feels wrong when an animal's been called, especially dogs, who are so responsive to their names. Someone's called them that for an extended period of time, and now you start calling them something else? I don't know. I'd feel weird. You know? And that's not 100% the reason why we didn't change their names, but that was definitely part of it. We were happy with their names. And people are like, what does it matter? Our dogs' names are... We've got uh, Pepper, Chili... And Coco. Um, I think I've got a. There's Coco. She's tiny. Pepper and chili and hot cocoa is great. <laughs> Why not? Your cat was named Squirrel. That's a reason for something around it. Yeah, so uh, that was the one thing. If you had an animal that's been named something that you'd be too embarrassed to yell out, 
it probably should. Um, you want to be able to call out to your pet as loud and proud as possible. What's that, Seraph? You don't like sap? Huh? Huh? Idiot. Where's my siren? I think that looks okay. What do you guys reckon? No need to ask Chroma what he thinks about that. <laughs> One cat's called Gizmo, the other's Michael Meowers. Nice, I like it. I like that one. <laughs> Neighbours wonder who Michael is, yeah. A guinea pig named Bella and a bunny named Windigo. See, I like it works perfect. Like having a, a, a rabbit called Windigo or any other animal that you're not going to call to it too much is fine. Right? You can have like we've got two rabbits. Our rabbits have boring names: um, Blue or Bluey and Thumper. And I wanted to give them really fancy names. Like, um, you know, like just, like I'd be Googling stuff and like I'm looking for something of like Dr. Something or other, whatchamacallit, thingamy jiggery the third. My wife's like, why would you want to call an animal that? I'm like, cool, because it's a rabbit. You don't have to actually call it that. Right? Whereas with your dog, you've got to call it out at the park, you know, or something. So you need nice, short, yellable names for dogs. Right? But you can get really, really out there crazy names for animals that you just want to walk up to and, and, and pet and feed. Because, <laughs> yeah, 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 because the neighbors know. Like, everyone knows that our, our, um, our, our bigger dog is, is Pepper. And by bigger, she's, she's small, but the other two are tiny. Um, yeah, Baron von Bunheim and Regent Lord of the Underbrush. Esquire, you know, or so, you know, <laughs> and then you just call them Baron and and, Re and Reg, right? Um, 